Another type of diagram that you can use in a presentation is a flowchart. But this has to be created manually. There isn't a slide type for it and we can't insert it either. We have to use the auto shapes. From the auto shapes we can choose flowcharts. Hovering over each one shows that each one has a specific function. Some for decision making, preparation, manual input, or card. These have all got very specific uses when you're creating flowcharts, but my job here isn't to teach you about what they mean, just how to create them. Let's start by drawing, drawing a decision block. Draw this at the top of the screen. Looks just like an auto shape, works just like an auto shape. We can do all the normal formatting and we can add text. Let's just add, are these videos any good? See, we're asking a question there. It's a decision-making box. Now, I'm not going to label this, but you can imagine coming down the left-hand side, we'd have a no root, and down the right-hand side, we'll have a yes root. So down the no side, we'll add another shape. Remember to use the flow chart ones. This is going to be a termination one. Missed it. A termination. I'll just draw a termination block there and add the text. Stop watching them. So if you don't like the videos, you're going to stop watching them. If you do like the videos, we'll come down the other side. We'll add another decision on this side. And down here, let's put um, make a donation. So we're asking whether anybody would like to make donations. And then we'll put some more terminators. One coming down the no side. Keep watching because the videos are free. And if you do want to make um, a contribution, still use terminated because it's the end of the process. On the right hand side, we can have visit website for PayPal. Okay, so why are these any different to auto shapes? We could do all that with auto shapes. Well, it's because of how we connect them. We don't use lines. We're not going to use these lines here, although we could and it would look quite reasonable. We're actually going to use a different type of auto shape to connect them. We're going to use connectors. Again, hovering over them, lots of different types. We're going to stick with a straightforward arrow connector. Now, down this no side, are those videos any good? Down the no side, you see when I get close to the decision-making point, I get a little blue dot and my cursor changes to a square. That's my grabbing point, so I can click there and drag down to the terminator block and again as I get close you can see those blue squares appear there and they're my dropping points, they're my anchoring points again so I need to get directly over it and let go. Okay, So you can see we've got red dots either end with an arrow pointing down. That's adding the connectors so I'll just quickly add the rest with a straightforward line each time down the yes side and then from that decision making, make a donation no on the no side. Being careful to drop just exactly on those anchor points. And then finally, on the yes side, very carefully linking those together. But still, again, why? Why would we not use auto shapes? Well, it's because. Once we've got them connected together like this, we can move the objects around and everything stays in place. They're fixed. So 
we can move things around the screen and because they're anchored together they stay fixed we can also move these anchor points I can click and drag an anchor point whoops missed it and move it towards you can see how it jumps in wants to go in the middle of this right hand face and I let go and it anchors itself there clicking and dragging oops and it anchors it into place any of these objects we can select and delete in the usual way that's flowchart very similar to auto shapes but linking them together to make a decision making process flowcharts